നവംബർ ടെൻത്ത് ഫ്രൈഡേ ലൂക്ക് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ വൺ ടു എയ്റ്റ് എ ലിറ്റിൽ ടോട്ടസ് വാസ് കോൺസ്റ്റൻ്റ്ലി ഫേസിംഗ് എ കോംപ്ലെക്സ് ഓഫ് ഫീലിംഗ് ടു ലോ ഇൻ ലൈഫ് സീയിങ് ദ വേരിയസ് അതർ ആനിമൽസ് moving swiftly and speedily the tortoise would very often hide itself in its shell it felt that it could never progress in life one day it came across a wise person and sought an advice of how to get the best from life the sage a wise person replied my dear little tortoise always remember that you have been created specifically so never feel low or bad about yourself and as far as progressing is concerned always remember unless you stick your neck out you can never progress that was a simple yet effective piece of advice isn't it unless the tortoise sticks its neck out it could never progress sticking the neck out of course meant taking a risk but unless that was done progress was not going to happen the same is true for us in our life as well unless we take risks unless we stick out our necks we can never progress Jesus has another parable for his disciples in today's gospel. It is the story of the rich man and his steward. Someone in the rich man's household reports to the master that his steward has been squandering his money. Naturally, the master immediately calls the servant in and asks to see a list of his expenses and the monies that he had spent the servant panics he didn't expect to get caught now what was he to do notice he is not repentant he simply wants to ensure his future he doesn't have the skills to become a laborer and he doesn't want to end up on the street so the servant devises a plan he calls in each of his master's debtors and reduces the amount of money that each of them owes his master what is unbelievable is the master's reaction when he discovers the steward's dishonesty instead of firing the man or putting him in prison he commends the steward for acting prudently at times in our lives we find ourselves in a difficult 
and a frightening situation. At these times, do we turn to God? Do we trust God to give us another chance? The gift is God always gives us another chance. Our part is to trust that God will never leave us. Dear friends, the gospel today is a reminder that all of our wealth or possessions, including our talents, are gifts from God. We must be good stewards of them. That means we ought to use them for the good of all and for the glory of God. Wishing you a good day, Father Paul C.S.S.R. from Kerala.